brain. Charge backpack. Oh, the genius sisters use them like a lab rat. Oh, the main freak dad at home is super busy mom. Oh, but the boy's best friend is a talking dog. That's right. Three extreme genes in an air breathing shark. Mega action game control skating in the park. A feral booster bling bling. What do we make of this? Wonderful brother, we use this flat screen TV for a science project, and we thought you might like it. Uh, uh. And we've installed for you the automatic brush time, buddy. Now you never have to brush your teeth manually again. Uh, brush mode. <laughs> Rinse mode. Spit mode. Candy and comic books. Is this the last of it or is there more? This is the last of it. What do you want? It's Valentine's Day! Oh, I don't want to! I gave you a flat screen TV and a brush tie buddy and candy! I'll need weapons. Lots of weapons. The Turbo Time Tea House and perhaps a large bird of prey. Done! <laughs> Okay, bring it, people. I want Susan Test to be my Valentine. What do you got? Super duper love chocolates, sir. They will get Susan Test to fall madly in love with you. How do I get her to eat them? You don't. Observe. I love you, Blink Blink Boy. Simply make contact anywhere. It doesn't need to be ingested. Ha! She won't even know what hit her. Except my lips. Oh, this'll be too easy. Happy Valentine's Day, Eugene. That long crested eagle? Peregrine Falcon. Even nastier. Darn it! Oh, hey, watch out! Oh, no, no, wait a minute! Oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna need a bigger plan. No! She bribed Johnny to protect her, so let's think outside the box this time, people. Or we can blast from inside the love tank. How's it work? It fires canisters of love gas that will make Susan Test fall for you. And there's no way Johnny can protect her or stop me this time. It's working, and soon, Susan Test will be... Hey, Eugene. What are you doing there? Just protecting my sister from your love. Well, if you're down there, then who's in the lab? Five cave girls. You went back in time. Just for you, buddy. Little brother, your bling bling stopping skills are unmatched. Hey, when you know your foe like I know BB, you can get inside his head, think like him, and defeat him. Is a Speed McCool movie? Actually, it's from his book, Cool Things I've Said in Movies. <laughs> Let's try this again. We're actually quite excited about this next one, sir. Music. Oh, you mean singing to her? No, you have a horrible voice, sir. But we've created the self-strubbing guitar. Girls love music and, more importantly, musicians. Give it a try. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Heck, I've just fallen in love with me. Then, since it's not a weapon, Johnny Test won't use a weapon against you. It's not in his nature. <laughs> what was that music? It was short, but it's...
it sounded nice. We will never know. Okay, Eugene usually gives up after three love attempts. So you're safe for another Valentine's Day. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, he's probably at his island drowning his defeat with ice cream next to a picture of you. <laughs> I can't beat Johnny. And worse, I'll never win Susan's heart. We feel awful, sir, but we do have one more idea. Just take a look, sir. Wow. What's the plan? It is the superhero effect. Lois Lane loves Superman, Mary Jane loves Spider-Man, and Susan Test will love Diamond Man. Yes! Gigantocon will capture Susan, bring her to the top of the tallest building in Pork Belly, and I will save her. The key is, don't reveal yourself. It's the mystery she will fall in love with. Then she'll lift your mask to find out who you are, and that's when she'll finally overlook your somewhat unappealing exterior. Hey, you saying I'm fat? No, sir. Then, once revealed, Susan will see what a sweet and gentle hero you are on the inside. And if Johnny Test gets in my way... <laughs> Okay, that might be a little harsh. But, Gigantocon, get Susan Test! Oh, I cannot believe he's going for a fourth round! Go with the stun blaster! What's going on? Don't worry, we can handle this. Okay, Eugene, I'm done messing around and... Oh! Reporting that a girl has been taken atop Pork Belly Towers by a huge gorilla. How will this affect your holiday traffic? Ugh. Worst Valentine's Day ever. I'll save you, Susan Test, but first... Um, who are you? I'm Diamond Man! And do not fear, Pork Belly. I will always be here to protect our fair city and smart, pretty girls named Susan Test. Everywhere! Ooh, look in the sky! It's, it's... Uh, I have no idea what it is, but man, that looks cooler than you! What the... Hey! Let her go, beast! Who are you? Cool suit! Thank you so much! You're so... Down, Johnny, this is too weird. Mary whipped up the suit and it's super cool. And... Oh, boy. That is it. I was supposed to save her, but now there's no saving you. Hey, don't blame me. It's Susan who keeps rejecting you. Yeah, but I can't destroy her. I love her. So prepare for your last battle with me, Johnny Test, because my suit is indestructible. Eugene, part of me likes you. Always has. Same here. But I am gonna kick your... Oh! It looks like a battle for the ages, folks. Get inside, lock your doors, because this is gonna get ugly. You don't have to lock your doors. We just want to destroy each other, not the town. Goodbye, shiny test. We've battled a long time, and I know all your moves. And I know all your moves, Johnny Test. <laughs> What's going on? Is Johnny winning? It's sort of a tie. But I made Johnny an indestructible suit. Yeah, but so is Bling Bling. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, this could be a long night. Hank Anchorman reporting on hour six of the Battle of the Ages. And frankly, I'm getting tired, so I'm gonna get some coffee, maybe check in in the morning. You, you can't defeat me. And you can't so tired. I give up. I'm like so tired. Me too. Let's not fight anymore. It's 
just too exhausting. And I've wasted a whole day where I could have goofed off and wasted it the way I like to. And I'm gonna spend another Valentine's Day alone. I wouldn't ask for much, you know, just share an ice cream float, like in the movies. So, who won this time? This one's a tie. And frankly, Big Sis, would it hurt to be his Valentine? What? You must have hit your head. Just share a soda with the guy. You don't have to marry him. No, I'm not looking for marriage. <laughs> Unless you are. I mean, think of somebody else for once, because I gotta keep doing this every Valentine's Day. Come on, sharing a soda with a guy won't kill you. We'll make sure there'll be no touching involved. And I'll be there to protect you. This is the greatest Valentine's Day in my life! I cannot believe I'm doing this. I have to say your suit was amazing. Flawless work. <laughs> Thanks. I'm really loving our date, Susan Tess! It's not a date! <laughs> I had the guts to ask Gil out to dinner. Me too. But why do you want to ask him out when you know I would make Gil a better girlfriend? Really? Because according to these calculations, I would make a better Gil girlfriend. No, I would. 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 no Susan's right. She'd make the better Gil girlfriend. Ha! In your face! Personally, I think Mary would make Gil a better girlfriend. In your face! each other for their brother and his dog's entertainment. Yeah! Yeah! Yes! Don't you bean brains have anything better to do? Nope. Uh-uh. Okay, there's got to be a better way to settle this Gil dispute than with violence. Fine, why don't you both just ask Gil out to dinner? Then see who he chooses. Oh, please, that is the most... Hey, that's actually a good idea. Duh. Hey, Gil, hop on over here, you big hunk of blondiness. <laughs> What's up, Johnny bro? My sisters want to ask you something. You have sisters? Cool. What's up, ladies? Ask away. <laughs> Strange girls. Later, Johnny. You guys are pathetic. No, totally pathetic. We know. But we don't know what to do. You need to get some guts. Don't you have a doohickey chamber or a laser beam that can give you guys the power to battle for Gil's heart? Looks like you're the ones who need to be experimented on this time, not Johnny. I'm not letting you experiment on us, and hey, that's a great idea. Awesome! This time we're the genius scientists and they're the dopey guinea pigs. I know, I feel so smart in these glasses and... Can we get started? What is Guts? Guts is having no fear. Guts is accepting any challenge no matter how insane. Guts is... Being too dumb to know when something is dangerous. In conclusion, you should take my guts and replace them with your wimpy guts and get Gil. Right! We'll access your DNA sequence, extract the strand relating to risk-taking, inject it into us, and then ask Gil out to dinner! If that's the way you want to go, which is the wrong way... You have a better idea, Professor Dog? If you want guts, don't go boy, go animal! Imagine if you had the courage of a fearless lion, the tenacity of the wolverine, and the super sexy charm of me. <laughs> you? You're kidding, right? I've got way more guts than all those animals. I agree with the boy. Yeah, I'm leaning dog. Come on, Susan. Let's outgut them so you, not Mary, will be the one on a romantic dinner with Gil tonight. No, because Mary is going to go animal guts. We can get them from the zoo. And she'll be the one dining with Gil tonight. Let's do it! To the gut sucker! <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are we waiting for? We have to build it first. Will you hurry up already? <laughs> be done in a second! <laughs> okay, let the gut sucking begin. Rush. 
I feel like doing something stupid. Now it's our turn. Guts, suck us up, baby! I feel... Good. You know, I never thought I'd say this, but science is fun. Time to make you mine. No, mine! He, he will be mine! mine. This might have been a bad idea. Who cares? It'll be fun to watch. Oh, hi, weird-looking girls. You must have just moved into Johnny's house. Wow, I'm really gonna miss that little dude. Will you go out with me? Oh, well, I... <laughs> Wouldn't you rather go out with me? Right, you! Man, I hope I fell off the trampoline, hit my head, and this is all some freaky delusion! <laughs> You're going out with me tonight! Help! Help! I'm too young to date! Oh, so this is what it's like when an experiment goes horribly wrong. Uh-huh. And we're gonna have to save Gil. <laughs> yep, let's help him out. One, two... Gucci, 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 goo! <laughs> Tickling works every time. Johnny, bro! Oh, you moved back! And... Did they get bigger? It's time to finish this once and for all! And by this, I mean finish you! You don't have enough guts to defeat me! You're right! But I know where to get more! Me too! To the lab! They're gonna destroy each other, then us, then the town! You know, the only thing missing is my dad telling me I have to have them back to normal by dinner. I'm in big trouble, and he's standing right behind me, isn't he? I'd like to start this conversation with, I didn't do it. Now, I don't know what it is, Johnny, but you better have Susan and Mary home and normal by dinner, or you're in big trouble. Big! Uh oh. Uh -oh. Where did she get the caveman? I do not see this turning out well. We have to stop them before... <laughs> Must dine with girl! No, me! in all this, but darned if I know what it is. We have to put them back in the chamber so we can extract the guts and get them back to normal. Great idea. I'll ask them nicely. Excuse me, ladies, but I'm... <laughs> Asking nice. Bad idea. <laughs> or we could grab whatever dangerous weapon they have in the lab and try to force them back in the chamber. <gasps> oh! Ooh, citrus flower power knockout gas. That will do very nicely. <laughs> this is usually the part where your dad warns us about how much time we have left before dinner. Johnny, dinner will be ready in 30 minutes. Big trouble, mister. Big! <laughs> Susan and Mary, I demand that you stop and come with us back to the lab quietly. <laughs> Ooh, quick! Use the knockout gas! What? I had it the wrong way. <laughs> five minutes till dinner! We were knocked out for 25 minutes! Quick, how would Susan and Mary solve this problem if I was the problem? But it's not me this time, it's them and help me, dog! They would say that their aggressiveness is being caused by their jealous, raging gut. And the only way to calm and negate the effect is to achieve their goal of destroying each other or... Getting a dinner date with Gil. And you do an awesome Gil impression, right? Johnny bro, you moved back. The old neighbors were evil and...
This will never work. It's the only plan we got. Now ask both my sisters out. Talk, dog! Over here! Yo, Susan and Mary! Yo! Girl next door! I dig both of you equally and samely and think you're both super smacker, yo, and yo again. It's working! Four! Four! Oh, how I would love to have dinner with you both in, like, normal form. But alas, you're too freaky now, yo. Yes! Yo, it's coming dinner! We have to get ready! <gasps> what happened there? Who cares? We have a date with you! Johnny, dinner time! Whoa! I just had a freaky dream that I was being controlled with strings and monsters were trying to eat me. Freaky. Hey, how would you like to come over for dinner, like, now? Okay. Yeah, next door. Whoa, Johnny, I didn't know you had sisters. I know, Gil, I know.